Hello investors, my name is Dehan. Welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're going to be looking at four potential altcoins to potentially buy right now. If you guys are not following this channel, these are the reasons you must follow the channel because look at this. Yesterday, we talked about Cardano and Cardano made a nice move here in the past 24 hours up about 10% from yesterday's call out. We talked about this one by being a great opportunity to buy the dip. Obviously, it hit lows down here of about $1.08, and now we're trading at $1.47. So about a 40% gain here in the past week or so. And these are the reasons you must stay subscribed to the channel and smash that like button for me, guys. So obviously, right now, the market is uh, trading flat in the past 24 hours. We see our top gainer in the past 24 hours when we rally, which is up about 18.5%. Highest volume here being Bitcoin. Right behind it, we have Ethereum. So Bitcoin at 18 billion in volume. Ethereum at around 9.7 billion in volume. They're both down about 0.3%, 0.4%, trading pretty much flat here. And most altcoins are following that same pattern, but we do see some outliers. Like we said, Cardano up over 10% here in the past 24 hours. We see Polkadot down 5%. Dogecoin making a move on the downtrend once again. So obviously, Doge continues to have these little pumps, and then, you know, the dumps come, you know, and be, be even bigger. So... Elon Musk started accepting, um, you know, Dogecoin for payment for some of the, you know, merch you could get at different things on the Tesla website. And obviously, we saw a huge pump on uh, Doge from about 14 cents to highs of about 22 cents. And now we're making a pullback down again, once, you know, again, uh, as we've seen in the past. Now, another winner here is going to be Polygon, near Protocol, Uniswap over 7% here, Cosmos, which is another one we talked about in yesterday's video, up 5%. We have another big winner here, Phantom, up over 13%, making a nice run here in the past month or so so there's many opportunities out there in the market guys you just have to go out there and find them so obviously here on the crypto bubbles we're seeing a lot more green compared to where we were just a few weeks ago some of the bigger winners here obviously we have any swap up, up, up over 96 percent or so we have another one here keep 3 rv1 up 63 percent we have dusk network up over 57 percent or so right here we have rare governance up over 32 percent we have Cream Finance up over 69.5% and many other winners. We obviously see Cardano right here at 27% or so and Phantom at 33.4%. Near Protocol at 446 like we said. So there's many, many winners here. Obviously, there are some losers in here as well, but there's always opportunities. You just have to go out there and find them yourself. So go ahead and smash that like button for me, guys. Let's aim for 50 plus likes on this video before we get into it. It only takes one second. The first altcoin on this list is going to be a near protocol. So this one obviously being a big player here. We talked about this one about a month ago. And it's been performing very well in the past month. So in December, we talked about this coin here just in the past 24 hours. This one is up 5%, trading at almost $20. In the past week, we're up over 47%. And then on the one-month chart, 114% from lows down here of about $8.5 or so. So in the past year, this one's up over 692%. Last January, we were trading at around $2.51. Hit highs here in March at around $7. Pulled back down to lows of $172. And then we just continue to go higher and higher here. Uh, we talked about this coin in January when it was trading at around $9. So if you would have you know invested into this coin in uh, December here at around $9, you would have made over 100% profit in the past month or so as we continue to see this one push on higher and higher. Uh, right now, market cap is currently at $11.9 billion. We see our volume here up 26% higher than usual at 863.6 million in volume. So this coin continues to get more momentum. Meanwhile, most of the other crypto coins are you know either down or trading flat in the past month or so, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and everything else that's been pulling back um, you know nicely. So near protocol making a great move here. Could we continue to see a movement on up? Yes, I definitely think so. This is definitely a coin we're gonna be watching in 2022 for another upward momentum move. So that's gonna be our first altcoin. Second altcoin on this list is gonna be Phantom. So FTM, this one in the past 24 hours up about 13.2%, making a massive move here, trading at $3.35. In the past week, this one's up almost 40%, guys. In the past month, 132% from lows of $1.32. And then obviously on the one-year chart, it's up over 11,130 percent from lows last year in January at around two cents, three cents here. So from two or three cents, we hit highs here in February first at 60 cents, then pulled back down, hit new highs here when the market peaked at 92 cents, pulled back down to lows of under 20 cents again, and then we just continue to rise on higher and higher here until about November time period when everything pulled back down, hit lows down here in the one dollar range, and then you know we're just seeing this upward momentum. So from about December to now, it's up over you know close to 200 percent, uh, which is massive. If you would have invested a thousand dollars into phantom you'd be up to close to about two thousand dollars in profit or three thousand dollars worth of a coin right now so 
This one continues to push on higher, like we said here. Eight billion market cap currently on Phantom. Uh, you know, volume is up 84% higher than usual at 1.9 billion. So it continues to go on higher and higher. This was a great investment for any dip buyers that here, you know, saw the high at three dollars, pulled back down, bought the dip, and now they're making bank. Obviously, we just broke through the all-time high area again, making new all-time highs at 335. So we continue to push on higher, hitting those highs today, which is a great sign for this one as it might gain some more momentum now that it broke through that resistance. When once you break through that resistance, it continues to push on higher, and that's exactly what's happening here with Phantom. So this one, definitely one to be watching this week. Then we have our third altcoin on this list, going to be Polygon, also known as Matic, one of the more, uh, you know, greener coins that we've talked in the past. In the past 24 hours, this one's up almost 4% trading at $2.42. In the past week, this one's up almost 15%. On the one-month chart, 17%. And then on the one-year chart, 7,000%. So this was trading at around $0.03 cents as well, pretty similar to Phantom last January. And then we hit highs here, obviously, in May. This is when we got a lot of hype around green alternative coins and different things like that. And it pumped from about lows of $1 to highs up here of almost $3 or so, $2.50. Pulled back down, hit highs, and then the market pulled back down to about $0.69. Cents. And then we've been on an upward momentum ever since. Now, we did hit new highs here at around $3, pulled back down. And now we're hoping to make another, you know, break through that resistance level once again to break through that resistance at around three dollars and continue to push on higher and higher and make new highs in 2022 so polygon is definitely another one we're going to be watching currently volume here at 1.1 billion at 34 percent higher than usual 17.7 billion market cap 68 day typical hold time it is currently ranked the number 10 coin and we have 67 percent buy activity 33 percent sell activity on this one if you're not familiar with polygon it is an ethereum token that powers the polygon network a scaling solution for ethereum polygon aims to provide faster and cheaper transactions on ethereum using the layer 2 side chains which are blockchains that run alongside the ethereum main chain users can deposit ethereum tokens to the polygon smart contract interact with them within polygon and then later they can withdraw them back to the ethereum main chain and obviously see the matic token is used to pay transaction fees and participate in a proof of stake consensus so this coin one of those greener coins just like solana uh you know very popular with the nft gang nft you know crew and definitely a coin we're going to be watching in the rest of the year so that's going to be our third coin and then last but not least number four on this list is going to be one that has been hammered and we're waiting for some upside so it's going to be uniswap uni this one is up 7.77 percent here in the past 24 hours trading at 17 dollars 49 cents hitting highs at one point around 18 dollars 20 cents here and then a slight pullback in the past week, this one's up 10%, past month 21%, and then on the one-year chart, 101%. So this one, not you know, not as crazy gains as some of the other ones, but still beautiful gains in my opinion. From $8, we hit highs here at around $45, pulled back down with the market, and then continued to trade sideways with a little bit of a downtrend. Now we're trying to bounce back and break through these you know, resistance levels at around $20 and continue to push on higher and higher, potentially breaking the next resistance level here at around $25. If we can do that, we go all the way to $30, and then from $30, we don't see another resistance until about $35 or so. So Uniswap is definitely one of those, uh, you know, I guess you could say dark horse type coins that I'm looking for, for potential uh, comebacks from the lows that they're hitting. Meanwhile, all the other coins we've talked about on this list are right now in a momentum type move and they're pushing on higher and higher. This one, we have not seen it, you know, break through these resistance levels. So it's not the time to buy yet, but could potentially be in the future. 11 uh, billion market cap currently volume is up 63% at 328.7 million. Typical hold time is going to be 31 days. It is ranked the number 15 coin on the list, 50% buy and 50% sell activity. Uniswap is an Ethereum token that powers Uniswap, an automated liquidity provider that's designed to make it easy to exchange Ethereum tokens. There's no order book or central facilitator on Uniswap. Instead, the tokens are exchanged through liquidity pools that are defined by the smart contracts. So obviously, Uniswap is definitely another coin we're going to be watching with plenty of upside potential over 150% just to get back to the all-time high areas that it was trading at. So those are the four altcoins with an extra bonus one there being Cardano as the fifth. But let's take a quick look at the rest of the market and see how things are performing. Like we said already, the meme coins are all down. Then we have Bitcoin here literally trading flat, you know, throughout Sunday going into Monday here, hitting highs, pulling back down back to where it pretty much started. In the past week, we're up 2%. Past month, we're down 10%. And then on the one-year chart, obviously, we're up 19% or so as it continues to, you know, trade here. Pretty much all of January, we've been trading around this level. Hopefully, this can be a support level that we bounce off of. Uh, trade sideways maybe for a few weeks and then you know see some upside potentially but it could always go down as well uh, right now the market cap is at 809.9 billion we have 31 percent of the crypto market space here in bitcoin volume is trading literally flat and then uh, obviously 75 percent buy activity 25 percent sell activity bitcoin is going to be very interesting to see how it performs meanwhile 
a lot of these altcoins are already on the move and starting to push on higher, which is a positive sign. Then we have here Ethereum, Ethereum trading at around 3,300, you know, hitting highs and then pulling back down just like Bitcoin. In the past week, we're up 4.5%, past month down 16% with those lows. And then on the one-year chart, 167%. So pretty much same pattern as uh, Bitcoin bounced off of this low here at the beginning of January. And now we're waiting for some consolidation and potentially an upward move. If we can break through the resistance level up here, close to about 3,600, 3,700, then we could potentially continue to go higher and higher past the 4,000 area once again. Right now, market cap right under 400 billion market cap, 15% of the crypto market space. Volume is at 9.7 billion right now. Typical hold time, 71 days, 74% buy activity and 26% sell activity. Um, you know, it's about half of uh, Bitcoin's valuation right there. So Ethereum making a nice move here, still outperforming Bitcoin in the past year, obviously, as Bitcoin only returned 19%. Meanwhile, Ethereum 167%. But we're seeing a lot of these altcoins make a move here in the past month. Could this be a altcoin season? That's what I'm, you know, starting to think. Altcoins are starting to move. Meanwhile, you know, the big, uh, bigger coins, large cap coins are starting to stay, you know, at the same area or make it a little bit of a pool. Back. So altcoin season is, you know, in full effect, in my opinion, on some of these. So there's definitely opportunities. You just have to go out there and find them, which is what I always tell you guys. So guys, if you enjoy this type of content, smash that like button for me. Let's aim for those 50 plus likes. I know you guys can do it. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time I make a new video. And as always, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Before investing, speak to your financial advisor. Do your own due diligence and make sure you understand what you're getting into. I hope you guys enjoyed and let's have a great January. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.